this is a solid mechanics eng5443 the 2018 exam and i'm looking at question two which is really on torsion um, 2a is about a solid shaft transmitting 600 kilowatts at 300 rpm uh, with a maximum shear stress of 16 megapascals and it wants us to find the shaft diameter so just looking at that um, this is where it helps to know your data sheet. Um, I think the information we want is all in torsion of shafts and in particular I want the relationship between power and torque and I'm going to want the torsion equation when that, um, and I'm also going to want to know that for a solid shaft J equals pi D to the 4 divided by 32. So three pieces of relevant information there. Um, so first of all we noted that P equals 2 pi nt divided by 60. Um, so therefore T, the torque that must be transmitted in this case, is going to be um, 60 P divided by 2 pi n, which here in this question equals 60 times the 600 kilowatts divided by 2 times pi times the 300 rpm and if I put all of that into a calculator I get out that that gives me 19.1 uh, kilonewton meters of torque Uh, so that's useful. Next up I need the general torque equation which says uh, the shear stress divided by the radius equals torque over J and I'm going to make a couple of notes J equals pi D to the 4 on 32 and of course R also equals D on 2. That just means I can express everything in terms of the di shaft diameter. Um, Rewriting, I get tau over or tau max over d on 2 equals t over pi d to the 4 on 32. And if I rearrange that, I'll get uh, d cubed equals 16t divided by pi tau max. Um, I guess I can put in one more intermediate stage here. These fractions within fractions make it particularly confusing. So I can take what's on the bottom line on the bottom line and move it to the top line. Uh, and once I do this rearrangement it's somewhat easier to see where this comes from um, and we've got the numbers for this. This is 16 times the torque we already calculated, 19.1 times 10 to the 3, all over pi times the maximum shear stress, which is 60 megapascals. And that comes out to be 1.62 times 10 to the minus 3 which means that D equals, and do just make sure you know where the cube root button is on your calculator, D equals 0 0.1174 meters. Um, and I'm going to call that, I'm going to round up um, so that I go over rather than under the diameter required and therefore I know I won't exceed the allowable torsional shear stress and I'll say that's two three significant figures rounded up um, and that's the shaft diameter 118 millimeters you could also express that as uh, and that is all of question 2a Question to B. Um, 
the question looks like this there are four gears on a shaft um, one of the things you may remember just if I'm drawing out that shaft I'm not really going to be very good at drawing it in three dimensions but we decided um, or one notation that can be useful and I'm, I'm just doing a bit of this we're going to need the right hand rule and I can use these double headed arrows to show that moments are applied to the shaft so this moment is 900 there's another one here of 2100 the opposite direction um, there's one here of 450 and there's one here of 750 and if you check that you'll find um, clockwise moments add up to anti-clockwise moments you've got 2100 newton meters acting clockwise and anti-clockwise and so in the end the shaft is in equilibrium um, we're told that the maximum allowable torsional shear stress is 70 megapascals tau max equals 70 times 10 to the 6 pascals and we're asked for the required diameter um, what we're going to need to find here is the maximum um, torque within the shaft and to do that we're going to need to do some method of sections I'll think about section 1 section 2 and section 3 of the shaft and we'll go from there so in section 1 um, if I just draw my shaft with an imaginary cut we know there's 900 Newton meters acting that way and so if I draw on a torque acting at my um, imaginary cut that must be the torque within the shaft at that point and by um, equi torque equilibrium that torque equals negative 900 Newton meters in region 2 we've got something that looks like this and so we get T plus 900 equals 2100 and that's with all the right hand rules pointing to the right equaling all the right hand rules pointing to the left T equals 1200 Newton meters in that region and in region 3 um, well I'll go through it I guess we can see that it's going to have to be balanced by what's happening to the right of region 3 so it's going to have a magnitude of 750 but let's just go through it in the same procedure as we've been using throughout so I get T plus 900 plus 450 equals 2100 with arrows pointing to the left equaling arrows pointing to the right and that will give me as I hoped T equals 750 Newton meters so the maximum torque in the shaft is uh, 1200 Newton meters in section 2 okay well that's good um, now I know the maximum torque I can just go back and use similar um, process to what I did in part 1 to find the diameter and I'm in fact I can uh, it's a solid shaft again so I can just immediately write down d cubed equals 16 T divided by pi tau max um, I've calculated that once no need to derive it again uh, from part a 
which equals 16 times 1200 divided by pi times 70 times 10 to the 6. which is 8.731 times 10 to the minus 5 which means that d the shaft diameter equals um, the cube root of that which comes out as 0 0.0443 millimeters if I round sorry 0 0.04436 meters which equals I'm going to call that 44.4 millimeters to three significant figures. Sorry, I'll just move that up so it's in in view. You can see the whole question pretty much now. Uh, that was 2B1. Uh, we better just finish by doing 2B2, which says the shaft is now hollow with an inside diameter of 40 millimeters, which is 0 0.04 meters and we don't know what the outer equals. Um, well, I can go back and say tau max divided by d on 2 equals t divided by j um, This is going to be slightly fiddly because we've now got this problem here um, that interior diameter is 0 0.04 meters this exterior diameter is our unknown j uh, again this is on the formula sheet j equals uh, let's just find it and make clear where it comes from uh, capital d here is outer diameter small d is inner diameter so it equals pi d outer to the 4 minus d inner to the 4 all divided by 32 and the maximum shear stress occurs as far as you can get from the uh, axis of torsion the axis of rotation or twisting so that value there is d outer divided by 2 so rearranging this we know tau max is 70 times 10 to the 6 um, I'm going to put that 2 onto the top line and then we've got the outer equals we know T from the earlier part of the question is 1200 Newton meters and I'm going to multiply that by this 32 that's uh, going to be a, within a fraction on the bottom line and all of that becomes multiplied by pi d outer to the 4 minus 0 0.04 to the 4 um, rearranging all of that I get pi times d outer to the 4 times 2 times 70 times 10 to the 6 minus pi uh, sorry, that to the power of 4 should be inside the bracket. So then we get pi times 0 0.04 to the 4 times 2 times 70 times 10 to the 6 equals 1200 times 32 times d naught. Um... And this is going to be tricky I think I just need to think about this um, I mean obviously I can multiply out some numbers um, pi times 2 times 70 times 10 to the 6 that gives me 439 times uh, 439.8 times 10 to the 6 d naught to the 4 minus um, 
one one two five point well minus one one two six I'm gonna say equals um thirty eight thousand four hundred D naught. Um and my problem there is that is going to give me a quartic equation in D naught, which I'm not quite sure how to solve. Yeah, I, I guess let's just put all of that in brackets for the time being as a, a route that didn't work. Um, what I might do instead, um, if we say a d outer equals some unknown multiple a times d inner, then I get um, 2 times 70 times 10 to the 6. I don't know whether this is going to work any better. Over a d inner equals 1200 times 32 divided by pi a d inner all to the 4, which is Uh, yeah, this might, maybe this will work. Um, so that gives me 2 times 70 times 10 to the 6 over A di equals 1 200 times 32 over pi A to the 4 minus 1 di to the 4. But this is going to leave me with the same problem because I've got a term in a to the power of 4, a units term, and a term in a when I multiply across. Um, I guess the last thing I would try, I mean I'm treating this like an exam, so uh, I guess I'm not going to get 100% in this exam. Um, but let's just try putting in a number and see what we get. Um, let's assume the outer diameter is 60 millimeters, 0 0.06 meters. Um, then what we get is two times the stress over 0 0.06 equals 1 200 times 32 divided by pi times 0 0.06 to the 4 minus 0 0.04 to the 4. Which would mean that tau equals Thirty five point two five megapascals. Um, so that becomes um, significantly larger um, than what we the, the shear stress there is significantly lower. So we can get away with us than what we need. We were aiming for a shear stress of seventy, so we can get away with a shear stress. Uh, less than, uh, uh, sorry, an outer diameter less than 0 0.06 meters. If I was doing this exam, I would probably stop there. Um, I guess I've missed some kind of trick which would help me to solve that part of the question. Um, and then if I had loads of time at the end, I'd try and see if I could get any closer, um, or indeed if I could spot a mistake that I've made or something that I'm not quite doing right. Um, but for the time being I'm going to leave that question there. It's been a good kind of um, route through some tricky questions in torsion and we've covered most of the things that can come up in a torsion question.